in a little bit on cloud nine since. Amazing pinch me moment um, for my career. He said to me, design your dream master bedroom. I think this room would maybe be it. Just love the interior here, it's amazing. You wanna do a haul? Given autumn vibes, I'm here for it. I think it's quite cool. I think I'm not really a jean girl, but. This is honestly the current state of my wardrobe. This is my new Mary Jane, which I'm loving. And then in here, Hi guys and welcome back to the vlogs. I am back home. I had a very short trip which you guys will have probably picked up on on the last vlog and I am back with Chris. We are just driving back to actually Ann Yo Park because we went a few weeks ago and we actually just randomly discovered it when we were doing some home shopping and we've actually been invited back by them which is really nice um, because it's been taken over by Restoration Hardware and I'm very excited we've got a lovely itinerary planned for the day and last time it was all like pretty much like a rainy day and I'm not gonna lie it's look, looking a little bit gloomy today anyway but at least hopefully fingers crossed there won't be any rain because they've got some lovely outdoor bits and pizzas where we're gonna sit out by um, like the wood fires I believe because obviously we didn't see it last time but yeah they've planned a whole itinerary for us today and the interiors there are chef's kiss like i died and went to interior heaven last time you may have seen it in the last vlog and i feel like i probably had said that so many times in that vlog as well but i was just loving it um did you take a wrong turn was no. it oh okay it's still on the right track but it was so cool wasn't it and you loved the um the gallery so we're gonna get a proper tour of it this time have dinner there have afternoon tea pizzas everything so it should be a good day so I thought I'd pick the camera back up because it's pretty much the start of the week. So I'll be sharing what's going on this week anyway. Um, I thought I'd give you a breakdown of my outfit. So this is the Cezanne cardigan actually that I showed you in the last vlog. I'm loving it. And the fact it is looking a little bit gloomy now, I'm glad I've put it on. And then I've got my new Prada tank underneath and my Abercrombie trousers, which I'm probably sure you're sick of seeing me wear, but it just goes to show how much I love and wear these and what a good staple they are. And it's just because they don't crease. So you can wear them all day. <laughs> Honestly, sorry, I was just vlogging then and I could tell he was like itching. He was like tapping the steering wheel. I'm like, what? What, is, like, he is actual Ross from Friends and all <laughs> always auto corrects me like and I could tell it was like eating him up inside do you want to say it no you say it I basically on, pronounced it wrong go on go on no you go and Ho Park I believe in you and Ho Park no yeah is that it <laughs> Ain't Ho sorry it's Ain't Yo Park no <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yeah, sorry, we are going to Ainho Park. Yeah, perfect. Right. Um, I've actually lost my train of thought. I think I was talking about you the trousers. The yeah, there we go. Which is the Abercrombie one. So I'm going to link them because I feel like I say it in every vlog and you see me wearing them all the time because one, they're comfy, two, they don't crease, and three, they're good quality. And they do them in petite size, so I didn't have to get didn't have to get them tailored either and then I've got my Celine sandals on and I haven't worn this bag in a while it's the one I got from Vista my YSL one and Chris is actually looking very dapper today I feel like you can't probably see his outfit here Thanks, babe. so maybe when we get out you can probably see it and then I've got my Celine sunnies on as well but we are literally a few minutes away so when we pull up I will give you a grand tour because it is so nice there. and I really recommend going if you want to go for like a day out as well but we haven't eaten the food yet so I'm yet to report back on that yeah I can imagine it's really good Call me tomorrow. There's nothing personal in having a little fun. Oh, no, you wait and see if 
it's worth your while. And it was so good. It was really light, crispy. It was really yummy. We had the margarita and then Chris had truffle because I do not eat truffle. One day I'm going to get you into it. I can't get on board with it, but I just got my iced chai latte. I'm such a chai latte girl now. But as you can see, we're walking through the interiors because we're going to go meet everyone. I think in the orangery for oh, some tea. But just love the interiors here. It's amazing. Just watch me break. your dream master bedroom I think this room would maybe be it I mean all of the rooms that we've been looking at are insane it's such a beautiful gallery but I just love the decor the mix of the old and the new sorry the lights coming through these huge beautiful windows maybe it'll pick up this way sorry the light is playing up but you can kind of see in the back beautiful fireplaces everywhere which a lot of them have all been restored along with like the woodwork and they were saying it's taken so long to restore a lot of the woodwork in this place especially like the banister at the stairway which was so interesting and it just goes to show like I feel like we're feeling so overwhelmed with the house that everything's taken so long and so much time but even places like this it's taken them so long to be able to do this restore it and launch it so it's just beautiful and the end result is so worth it because these rooms are insane so all of this furniture you can actually buy through restoration hardware it's just like a few of the um final furnishings but look how cool this four poster bed is but we just saw another one and me and Chris were getting inspo of maybe putting curtains on the four poster in our guest room and also Chris mentioned like how these lights here the taller on the see here on the side tables which just draws your eye up as well which is a really good interior design tip so we are on the hunt for styling our bedroom at the minute so obviously we're underway with a makeover at the bedroom so definitely looking for like grander mirrors taller ones to draw the eye up because our ceilings are a lot lower than they are in this place this faces outwards always. oh yeah this is like your dream isn't it for the office just well with the desk facing the window just have a desk facing out to the room it's just we can't do it in our study can we this isn't more of a gallery but really but then would you decide for like work and home yeah but i work like anyway i'll just sort of crawl into bed <laughs> crawl into bed do you guys want a lesson from chris it's hardly a lesson but <laughs> It's basically He's explaining, around. yeah, how... It talks about the Vitruvian man, which is an indication of perfect proportions in the human body. How it so fits within... How it fits within a square and a circle at the same time. And then basically how they take and those rules for architect. These arches over the top, yeah. turn around and go up. Let's twist this camera. You can see how that is displayed proportionally with symmetry and squares and circles. How it's all symmetrical and balanced basically. That's like the biggest rules when it comes to architect and interior design. So I have this big book here. I'm not gonna touch it because I haven't sanitized my hands, but this was like one of the original books and where they got a lot of their inspo for like the architect, which gives all different um, regions like Greek and everything. And this was probably years and years and years ago what they used as inspo which is basically like their pinterest we've had some lovely afternoon tea well i have peppermint you had i'd like three teas <laughs> yeah you went through them all but we're just going to go in for dinner now which i'm very excited for because we haven't had proper kind of like dining experience here in the big orangery i believe We went for the Wagyu beef but we've actually shared it because 
wanted to get like loads of kind of picky plates so we went for the bell peppers the lettuces with goat cheese and then sorry but look i need to zoom into this at these mountain of thin crispy fries with parmesan these look absolutely delicious so yeah we love just having picky plates and trying everything out so this looks very yummy oh yeah what did it say on the menu no words creme brulee no words and my one <laughs> How big mine is compared to yours? Rating. No words. <laughs> Orgasm wise over a creme brulee. No, babe, that is so good. I feel like they've they've nicked my recipe. Absolutely gobbling it up, but it's, it's worth the orgasm wise. Isn't it? Shall we come back just this for this, this like every week? This is the best creme brulee I've ever had in my Hands down, like, I can actually say that. It's unreal. I feel like Chris probably did me dirty on that last clip, but oh my god, I think it's fair to say <laughs> we loved the creme brulee. It was so good, but it's been such a good meal. The wagyu beef, the wagyu beef, sorry. They cooked it and then they did like a layer of brown sugar, which I've never had before, but it was cooked to perfection. But the view, we've just been sat here looking out to the fields and all the sheep and the deer have started to come closer and closer because the sun's going in, which is really nice. It's just been such a lovely evening, sat here, we've had gorgeous wine and when wine comes in a glass with this thin of a stem, that is my love language. Yeah, it's been a really lovely day and I could not recommend this place enough. Like, I mean, I'm just in interior heaven. Also, we just found out this is actually made, this, um, sofa I kept rubbing it and they were saying it's actually made of merino wool and in the American stores that they have restoration hardware stores over I think it's in Chicago and in LA as well they actually are able to put this outside because it's really durable the um, material of it obviously not here in the UK because we have rain too often but I'm really tempted to see if they sell these wine glasses and maybe check out the interior store I think which is on the east wing I haven't seen it yet um, so obviously I've just seen all like the showrooms and the gallery, but absolutely a lovely day. Good morning guys. So we had such a lovely day yesterday. It was so nice to go back and like see more of the interiors because we didn't go, I think we were like on the East Wing. We didn't see all of those different rooms as well, like I was showing you around. I had such a good day and I feel like it's just, everything has just kind of like been full speed ahead at the minute. When I got back from my work meeting which I was traveling for last week which I'm so excited about and I'm not going to keep going on about it but I have just been a little bit on cloud nine since and yeah it was just a very amazing pinch me moment um, for my career in terms of one of my biggest goals that I wanted so seeing it like come to life and yeah it it will all be explained very soon but I'm sat, as you can see, in my comfies, which I'm dying to show you because I have been living in these since they come and I've had some other new bits from Arquette and also I did an order on Cos. So this morning, it's actually getting on to like late morning, afternoon now, I went on like, <laughs> I don't know what it was, I was like, right, I need to clear up my wardrobe and reorganise it and tidy it. So I did vlog it, but I actually forgot to intro or even kind of explain what I was doing so I'm going to clip into that but before I do I've got some new bits to show you which has inspired me to kind of like tie my wardrobe I'm not doing like a full changeover not just yet because the weather forecast meant to be quite good for the next week or so and then I'll do like my full autumn winter changeover but I just felt like it needed a bit of a clear out and I always sell my clothes to Relight and I know I've already booked in my collection which also gives me motivation to clear out my wardrobe. I'm getting some new pieces as well and I'm ready to start transitioning now so I thought I'd share with you some of the pieces that I've picked. The pieces from Arkit were kindly gifted because I'm going to an event with them later in the week which is very exciting. A brand that I've loved, worn and yeah just always stood by for years now so it's really nice to be working with them so some of these pieces like I said are gifted from our kit but the pieces from cars 
all my own money spent and as always I will link it all down below but I've told you guys a lot in the vlogs I'm struggling with my um, filming setup at the minute we are coming up with different plans of like a temporary setup before we get the studio underway so I thought I'm in the lounge anyway let me just keep my comfies I'm gonna do a little try on haul here and you can see what I've got new in can we show oh my god I love him can we show the YouTube family what I've got in do you want to do a haul? You going to do a haul? Okay. okay. I'm just setting you up on the tripod and I'm going to just try on the pieces and show you. Like I said, this comfy set, I will be forever wearing around the house. And also I recently styled it and errands with my little belly flats, which I need to share with you because I've got my new Chanel's. I don't think I've shared with you guys in the vlog, but I got them from the airport when I had the disaster of my delay. Yeah, and I've just been loving them. So this is the set from our kit. It is a cosy knit set, so it's just the top and the trousers. I feel like you can't really see it here, but the trousers hit perfectly here on the ankle, which I was so happy about because, as you guys know, I'm on the petite side and I always struggle when it comes to, like, trouser lengths. I always feel like they're really long, but these hit great, and this is just such a comfy set. I went for a small in at the top and an extra small in the bottom, which fit great and they're really nice. Fit actually, they've got the elasticated band here, so super comfy. You can kind of just tuck it in. You could wear like a trench over this, trainers, belly flats. Like you can style it up to go out, but it's a really nice set to wear at home as well. So, so next from our cat is this beautiful skirt. And I think I'm going to wear this to the Arquette dinner that I've got later in the week. And this is actually maxi length, so it hits lovely just at the ankle. So I'm going to try it on for you because I've also got a top to go with it, which is, again, another staple. I always go to Arquette when it comes to good staples. You know the quality is going to be there. So I'm going to try it on together with the top, and then I've got a really nice blazer from them as well. It's got, like, an open back. Okay, so this is the top with the skirt. I love it. I'll put a cut away so you can see like the beautiful length of this skirt and how it flows. This olive green colour, it's muted but it's just, oh I love it. And this is just such a good staple that's going to go through all the seasons. Like I'd wear this in summer, I'd wear this now like transitioning into autumn, I'd wear it in winter with like a big chunky knit, even just with trainers, like style it quite casual. But I'm going to dress it up, I've got this top on which is also our care. It's kind of a little bit off the shoulder, as you can see. And it's just a really nice, again, basic to have in your wardrobe. A long sleeve one, you can just layer on top of it. But I thought this color, like the creams with the olive green, would go really nice. This blazer that I also picked from our kit to style with the outfit. But look at the back. It's got this open crossover back, which is so cool. It's just like a different element to a standard blazer. But I do have a few blazers from Arquette. I have a lot from Frankie Shop, but if you're gonna invest, I always think just spend a little bit more money and I think quality over quantity. I'd rather have one good blazer and know it's gonna last me and it's good quality. And I feel like you can just tell when you're wearing it, like the structure of it. So this one, I think would look cute just kind of over the shoulders. I've got some green little sandals with the heel from Zara. And then look at the back. I love it. I think it's so cool. Even just this with a t-shirt and jeans, I think it's a great staple. I love it and it's got the little tortoiseshell button, so it's single-breasted. So I think this is going to be my look for the Ark at dinner. But they do have 15% off at the minute, site-wide, until the 14th of September, I believe. I'll leave the details down below. This is not an ad. It's just I know that they don't really do a lot of discounts online. They currently have got one, so if you want to utilise it and invest in some of your staples ahead of the season, now's a good time to save, ladies. So this is the other top. Not with these trousers, I've just quickly put them on to show you, otherwise I'd be like naked on the bottom. I think this would look really nice with black trousers and do an all-black look. And then I've got these heart earrings from H&M that I think would make a really good statement with this. So this could be a contender for the event, but I love this peplum. I feel like peplum is so in at the minute and I'm really happy about it. I've always loved it. I just think it's so flattering. It's got this pleating detail going across. Very similar to the cream one I've also got from Arquette. But this, and this is very similar to the Masima Duty one, which sold out. And very similar to the Masima Duty one that I have, which is like cross neck, which I love. But again, this is just such a good basic, like a good tank top. 
I love the contrast detailing. And how I've just quickly styled it with these trousers, my sleeve belt, probably like a black blazer over the top, my black belly flats. It's just like a great transitional outfit. And, really and then from Cars, I picked up this jacket, which I'm still undecided on. It's like a cape trench coat. Don't think I'd obviously wear it with this underneath. I guess I could, but let's see. I haven't really made my mind up on this yet. You do it buttoned up, but it's more of a cropped cape style. So I do actually have one from Arkit, which I bring out year on year. I'm sure you've seen me style it over the seasons, but I just thought this one was a little bit different. I saw it on cars and I loved how they actually styled it on the website. It was with black trousers, but what do we think? It's like a cape trench so you do the button here you could have it open but it makes sense to have it buttoned but i think it's quite cool i think this actually with jeans i'm not really a jean girl but i think the contrast of the denim with like this trench material would be really nice just undecided on this i think i need to play around with styling it but i think this could be really cool and then lastly from cars is this beautiful knitted set so it's a skirt a long skirt, well it will probably be maxi length on me, with the matching cardigan. But how beautiful is this rusty brown colour? It's given autumn. It's given autumn vibes. I'm here for it. Let's try it on. And it is staying. I'm definitely keeping this set. It is beautiful. Again, I'll put a cut away so you can see the length of the skirt and how it flows. But, but I can imagine when you walk in, it just has like beautiful movement to the skirt. It's just a really lovely shape and a really nice quality as well. So it's knitted, but it's not too thick. And then again, like a cardigan like this, you can style so many different ways, just with a t-shirt. I would even just put like a t-shirt with a skirt and then maybe a blazer, trainers. I'd do this with belly flats, my little Chanel bag. I'm very excited to start this up. I'll link all these pieces down below. I'm pretty sure that's everything new in from Arkit and Cars. You can save the 15% off again. This is not an ad, but even if it was, I'd be very honoured to be working with Arket on my channel. And seeing as though I've now made room in my wardrobe for these pieces, I will clip into me going on like a rampage this morning of doing a full tidy. I think I had literally like my hair mask in, pseudo cream on my face. It wasn't given, but you know when you just get in that mood, you wake up and you're like, I need to tidy and clean, that's what happens. So I'm gonna cut into that and then I've got some filming and work to do and I'll pick it with you guys probably at dinner afterwards. This is honestly the current state of my wardrobe room. Like I said, I've, I've pretty much said it, I think, a lot here on the vlogs, or if you've never watched my vlogs, this is a complete temporary room um, until we renovate, because this is all going to be knocked through, and then I'm going to have a proper walk-in closet made. But for now, I have wallpapered this back wall. Well, Chris has wallpapered it for me, bless him. I'm going to be hiding this radiator. I'm going to be getting a lovely blind on here, putting some cute vintage frames. I did go to Ikea and get the little stoppers here so it's not obviously got this horrible kind of lining going down the shelves but I got the wrong colour so I need to go back and get the right one and as you can see everything's just hanging on this door I'm going to take this door off its hinges and just completely have it off because it kind of just makes no sense like I don't need to have the door I hate the colour of these doors as well because behind it I could actually fit another shelving unit here so yeah, I think I'm just going to take it off. And as you can see, I've just got stuff hung up. I've got stuff on the floor from when I've been traveling. I need to unpack. So let's get organizing. And then in this room, I also have these wardrobes, which I've actually been trying to find some door handles for these that I like. And I've actually got some good space in here. But again, it is just completely unorganized and a mess. So... This for here is not being utilised properly, so this needs sorting. And then in here I've got like jumpers, boots, and I need to get a lot of these jumpers and fold them because some of these are like my lovely cashmere ones, like my Prada one, and I've found that it's better to not actually hang these and these should be folded, so I need to go through them. And then I haven't touched any of this down here, obviously, because these are like my winter boots. So yeah, and then up here as well, like all of this space can be utilised so much better.
started to make piles of clothes that I'm going to be selling to Reliked here, which I'm going to be putting in the IKEA bags. And then I've gone through my jumpers and I've started to put some of just like my thinner tops here that, you know, will start to transition into like really thin little cardigans, striped jumpers. And then these are like my thicker knits, but there's no point in me kind of folding these away and putting them up in the loft because I know I'm gonna be bringing them out in the next few like weeks and months. So I've just put them in here for now, but I think I'm gonna fold them and then maybe put them in a, like a container up here. When something is like jam packed, I like when there's just a minimal amount of things that I need. So just kind of like these jumpers here. And then I've actually just cleared out the long dresses and realized I've got another bar which I can put down here, which I think I'm going to start putting my trousers and then fold up my jeans because I don't really have a lot of jeans and I just can't find a good pair of jeans at the minute that fit me. So that is something that I'm realising is a gap in my wardrobe. Then in this middle section is still my blazers. I feel like this just works well because these are just kind of what I always gravitate towards I've just put like the really kind of bright colors here because I know they'll be moving out soon and then I've pretty much color coordinated this these are the longer ones going into like my crop jackets and then more of like my boot clay and um thicker cardigans that I always wear and then these kind of like bomber jackets and like my by Molina top and then as for jackets obviously I don't need really thick ones at the minute I've just got my trench my Jane and Tash jacket and just a denim one so that is looking quite full but I do actually wear a lot of these pieces. It's just these thicker pieces that I'm thinking, do I take out for now? Because I'm not going to need um, currently, which are actually taking up a lot of room. And then as for my drawers, I've just got kind of like my um, linen striped trousers in here, my vest tank tops. This one's actually new in from Arkit. It's still got the label on. It really reminds me of the Masma Duty one. Again, it's not, like I said, I'm not doing a full wardrobe clear out here or like a full kind of tidy it's just a little bit of like an organize that I needed to do and then in here this drawer is given autumn this is my new in cardigans and knits this one's actually a lovely thin cropped one um, with short sleeves from under the stories which I'll show you I've got my Cezanne jumpers cardigan sorry back here and then again these are more of like my arcade jumpers that I'll need when it gets a little bit colder my Prada jumper and then this is my new in set from our kit which I just thought put these in here more of like the cashmere the proper wool jumpers because they don't hang well they lose their shape so it's better to fold them these little baskets I need to organize this little one I've just got all of my like sunglass cases in here and my jewelry cases that's actually really bugging me and in here I've just got like my steamer and I'll put like my debobbler and stuff in there this cupboard at the top I've just got my kind of like crop tops like my Masama duty ones the ones that I always go for my little waistcoats t-shirts and then my shirts and then there's a nice enough room in here that everything just fits and then down underneath it which is going to be like the opposite wardrobe where I need to put this bar in is kind of like my nice top so like my blouses like I've got my by Molina one here going into my sets I've got like my cos sets my dish sets and then my longer skirts which were actually in the guest bedroom wardrobe before I just thought I'd bring them into here because there was enough space I'll need to tackle this because it's looking a mess and it's not looking aesthetically pleasing on the eye a lot of these shoes I'm just like not wearing at the minute so I need to utilize this space a lot better but over here are these new shoes from under the stories these are very similar to the Mary Jane cream ones that I got from Zazanne that I showed you last week but this style I am just loving it's the little mini heel which is perfect for me and then it's got the thin strap with a gold buckle I just think these will go with so much looks a little bit better I've organized all my bags into like 
colour coordination and sizes and brands like these are my Pauline Paris ones. I've got like my larger bags at the top, my black ones, my Demilier, YSL, I've got my Lady Dior. And I've organised like my heels, kind of ones I'm always leaning towards. So like my open toe, my pointed ones, like my court shoes. I've got my heeled sandals here, which I always go to my belly flats and my heeled court shoes, my new Mary Janes, which I'm loving. Then underneath here, I've got, I've just brought out some of my loafers because it will be soon time to wear them. A few of my sandals here, so like I've got my Chloe ones, my Celine, my Chanel's, and then a few of kind of like my go-to trainers along the bottom. So this is all now pretty much organized. I'm gonna get my makeup on get some filming done that I need to do for some campaigns and then I will wrap up and share my dinner with you. It is dinner time, my favourite time of the day, apart from when I take my makeup off, do my skincare and get my comfies. But I'm already in my comfies today. This lighting really is not doing me justice, is it? But I'm making one of my favourite HelloFresh recipes. So we've got HelloFresh for the next few weeks. I always find it's good when I'm trying to get like back into my routine and eating well. This just keeps me on track and then I know it's just delivered to the door and I don't have to faff with it. So this is one of my favourites. It's the Harissa Chicken and Roasted Cauliflower. And I know a few of you have been asking for me to share a few more recipes. So I thought let's share my dinner tonight because this is honestly one of my favourites. I also make Harissa Chicken and Bulgur Wheat, which is one of the recipes I actually got from HelloFresh before. And then I just kind of put like, my own twist on it. But this one's really good. Again, it has no yeast, which I'm trying to cut out. So I'll kind of just do like a step by step. Let's put some music on I always like to put my classical music on or listen to a book I'm gonna get a glass of not I'm gonna get a wine glass but not put wine in it I'm gonna give myself a placebo effect and I've been putting these little tonics in it just to be a little bit better in the week as well so yeah let's cook this it is a calorie smart one this is not an ad for HelloFresh I have been working with them in the past and I do still have an ongoing discount code with them which is actually really good it's 60% off your first box and then 25% off your next eight boxes. So if you do want to use it, I highly, highly recommend utilizing that because it's more than 50% off your weekly food shop. And like for us, it's so much easier to have it delivered usually on a Sunday night, stock up the fridge, and then we know we're good for the week. Cheers. I really like having these elderflower tonics. I have these when I do have gin, but in the week when I'm trying not to drink, Having this in a wine glass, I don't know what it is, just gives me that like feeling of I'm having a drink. So, cheers. down dinner was delicious that is honestly one of my favorite recipes and then the yogurt drizzled on top makes it a little less spicy but i'm not gonna lie it is spicy so it has got the ground coriander in it as well at the end but to top it all off this is honestly my favorite if you can hear washing water in the background chris is doing the washing up and washing the paint brushes because it's just been non-stop today I feel like this is just constantly our lives. We're either, we just look to each other like, we're either doing house jobs, which is like washing up, cleaning, painting, gardening, renovating, decorating, um, designing, <laughs> or we're doing other house jobs like cooking and whatnot, but it just feels like it's a never ending to-do list at the minute. And then we're like, right, now we need to sit down and do this for the wedding planning. And then we need to answer these messages. I just feel like, I don't know about you guys, but adulting is too much. So I can't remember the last time I just had like a free evening where I could just sit on the sofa and binge watch something. 
but I do need a new good series to binge watch. So let me know in the comments down below. Also, I washed these covers. We're obviously not keeping this sofa, but I washed them and I need to steam them because they're looking a bit old here. Hello, because he's sniffing what I was just about to tell you guys. These babies, I am obsessed. This is like my little treat. I always have to have something sweet after dinner. And it's these little mi um, and it's these little moons, the mochi ice cream. I love mochi. But it's this flavour, it's the golden blonde chocolate. Oh, these are heaven and they are only 85 calories per mochi. So I have just one ball. You leave it out for like a good five, ten minutes whilst you're having dinner. So it's not so frozen. I'm gonna sit, have one of these. I'm gonna make myself a mint tea, take my makeup off, and then I'm gonna have to sit on my laptop for a few hours tonight and get through some work I need to do. And then it's another full day tomorrow. Here we go. These little babies. Mmm, so good. I highly recommend. They do have loads of flavours as well, like passion fruit, mango I've tried is really good, but mm. These just hit the spot. I will be sharing a lot of home updates with you guys. Like I said, they are coming. The master bedroom is underway, as you can hear. Chris is washing the paintbrushes. Literally every day, every night, we're working on it to try and get it done. Really excited to get stuck into the new season and do lots of styling, share all new outfits with you. And not even just new, like even old pieces that I'm gonna be restyling, all my staples. I also need to show you him because the same hour every night he goes and grabs this toy, we call it Simba, and he cuddles up with it. And honestly, it breaks my heart. He usually likes you to play with it. <laughs> Look how he's hugging it. Honestly, I cannot cope with how cute you are. You're getting tired, ready for bed. Love you. Good night.